Hey, I was going to do some more body work on the 1968 Firebird, the Great Pumpkin, but I got a phone call from the guy at the Media Blast. You look in the bed of the old crap lanch There is a hood that I took just last week for this thing. He told me a couple weeks, but they helped me out and got knocked out quick. So I figured what we need to do next, though, is we can't leave it sitting in bare steel. There's a few things you need to do before painting it and a few things to keep in mind before handling it. But I'm going to show you how to basically get that thing primed so we can sit on this car until we get around to doing the bodywork and prevent it from rusting. All right, there we go. There's the hood you got back to the media blast. Now, step one, do not touch that thing with your bare hands. Grab some rags, get a couple gloves. Do something along those lines because last thing you want to do is get the oil from your hands into that metal. One's going to cause adhesion problems and possibly rust or corrosion issues. I'm going to pick it up out of the back of the old crap lounge here. Sit on my slow horses here and let's get this thing going. There you have it. Hoods on the saw horses out here in the daylight. I'm going to paint this thing out here in the driveway because, well, the garage is full of cars and parts right now. And it's just not going to work. So out here, it's going to be just fine. I'm going to wear a mask. This is an epoxy primer I'm going to use on this. And as for the prep work, I don't do anything besides blow the dust loose on this thing. This was literally just sandblasted just this morning, maybe two hours ago. It's not had any time to flash rust. Now, this is just my personal opinion, how I do it. Some people suggest a metal wash still or a metal prep, but... I feel that's maybe an unnecessary step or not needed at this point in the game. So what I'm going to do now is just blow this thing off with compressed air, mix up some epoxy, and get it coated on there. And if you guys remember, guys, gals, let's be fair, um, right about here's where the hood pins are. Well, that shut looks really nice. I like to do all the metal work, hammer the dents up best I can, and take care of any of the holes that need to be repaired before sending it to Media Blast because you can't even see the welds. It cleans out the welds so good. I don't have to worry about adhesion problems or problem with that coming back through later on. So super we're happy with the results but let's get some paint mixed. what i'm using today is dp50 uh, lf which is lead free primer it's an epoxy primer from ppg getting a little low on this stuff and there's still probably plenty in here to take care of this and a couple little small pieces paint gun and even though we're outside i'm going to wear a mask because this stuff is not good for you in any way shape or form so let's get some of that mixed up all right clip on blow the whole thing off with some air All epoxy prime sit out here in the sun bake let the stuff cure let it set up there because once that's this all dry and 
good all ready to put back on the car we'll go ahead and put it back here on the great pumpkin for safekeeping and we know it needs a little bit of body work anyway so back to the body working stage we're making some great progress here go ahead and prime this piece here that's one of the next things i got sandblast the front bumper support so i'm gonna get that going but this is just a matter of opinion i do this all the time sandblast stuff only blow it off go directly to primer some people say it doesn't work well let me tell you a little story about this car here nearly 20 years ago i did this car it sits out in the weather most of the time i've had no paint adhesion problems no rust problems and this entire car had a vinyl top i sandblasted that by hand epoxy prime that was the ppg stuff and i've had no problem with bonding or paint peeling or anything this is 20 some year old ppg paint and this car has probably spent half its last 20 years outside i know it drives people nuts seeing this thing sit out here but remember it's just a lego it's not really a gto i'm gonna be doing this car up next so i'm gonna do it one more time do it up really really sharp not 100 sure if it's fate yet but we're gonna work on it here at some point but proof this technique works i have a car that's sitting out in the weather holding up fantastically yeah so if this all of a sudden the mysteries and how to prep metal from the sandblaster for paint and ready to go and a long lasting i guess a durable finish that's a great fantastic foundation to build all your body work on everything that's going to hold up great i've got proof but nonetheless hope you found that tip helpful and i'll start working on some more of the body work here on the great pumpkin grab the camera and of course drag you guys along for the journey just the same and of course anything i can do or show you or any questions or thoughts like this one here is a question how do, what do you do when you get it back from media blasting well immediately go into an epoxy primer get it sealed up and then it'll be fine until you get around doing the body work it's like i've been doing here on the great pumpkin i primed this thing probably six months ago i think it was so anyway enough of that grab the camera get back doing some more body work hope we get this thing ready for paint here really soon get this thing painted and get this thing to the finish line and of course in the meantime you guys stay safe out there keep me updated on your projects send me pictures to the email link i thoroughly enjoy looking at these cars come back to life and knowing that i've had a part my buddy brian in arizona my buddy louie in pennsylvania and we've got a handful of other people now making channels on cars that they're building in their garage i can't even list them all from memory but there are so many people doing this now and i think it's fantastic and i hope to keep seeing more and more of these things come back to life so done enough of this we'll grab the camera and we'll catch you guys next time